Hai, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh We continue our uh, lecture on fungi phylum Okay, the first phylum is Phylum Citridomycota or Citridomycid Also called citrids So, this phylum is the most primitive group of fungi So, the category kumpulan fungi yang tertua eh, Primitive So, these fungi, they have flagellated cells. Normally, fungal phyla are non-flagellated. But this group, they have flagellated cells at some stage of their life. So, there are the cells yang mempunyai flagella pada certain-certain stage of their life. So, this group is parasites or can be decomposed. Normally found in freshwater area and few in moisture land and marine habitat. So, they have cell walls containing chitin. So, cell walls that containing chitin is the general character for the fungal. So, this uh, group, they have food reserve that stored as glycogen and they can reproduce both by asexual and sexual reproduction. So this is the example of citrates. Okay, the globular fruiting body. So, the globular means the spherical. Fruiting body means the structure that are able to produce a spore okay this is the fruiting body so there are a sprout branch of hyphae from the fruiting body dia apa mengeluarkan hyphae hyphae eh hyphae ni dia macam root lah root structure so dia akan pergi menjala mencari makanan okay search for food so this is the images of the image of the zoospore okay They have a flagellated stage that causes zoospore. So, this is the flagella. Okay, this is the zoospore. Kenapa dia panggil nama zoospore? From the word zoo. Zoo means animal. Okay, spore means spore lah. So, the spore is resemble animal-like structure because of the presence of flagellum. Okay, allomyces. Okay, this is a common citrate that has alternation of generation. Okay, from the word alternation of generation, it means that organism, the particular organism, they have two types of uh, life cycle. Okay, the first part of its life is haploid. So, in this case, the fungi is named as haploid talus. So, the talus uh, refer to the body. Okay, uh, badan dia. Okay, ataupun uh, organism tu sendiri. Okay, dia panggil talus. Okay, so from the first part of life, the talus is haploid. Meanwhile, the other half part is diploid. Okay, so the haploid talus, okay, it bear male and female gamete tangia in which this gamete are formed by mitosis. Okay, so this is very uh, not similar. Uh, seperti organisma lain Normally gamete is formed By the process of meiosis But for this group The gamete is formed by the process of Mitosis So this you can highlight eh? And then the fusion of this gamete Produce zygote Which develop into diploid talus Of course bila gamete the Fertilize with another gamete It will form zygote Which is diploid So what happened next This diploid talus It bear two kinds of spore cases. Bila zygote dia dah membentuk uh, diploid talus, maksudnya dia dah mature, dia dah ada diploid, genotype dia dah diploid. So, dia dah establish, dia dah mature enough to become sporophyte. So, bila dia dah diploid, kita panggil dia sebagai sporophyte. Sporophyte ni maksudnya dia dah boleh release spore, dia dah boleh menghasilkan spore. Kalau gamete, kita panggil gametophyte. So, these two terms you have to remember. Okay, gametophyte and sporophyte. Gametophyte referring to the gametes, sporophyte referring to the mature structure. Uh, okay, so this diploid talus, it bear two kinds of spore cases. From the word spore cases, it means the spore is stored in a sac. Okay, dalam satu kantong. So, that cases ataupun the sac has two types. The first is zoosporangia. And the other type is resting sporangia. Okay, what is zoosporangia? So, this zoosporangia, from the word zoo, we know it has flagella. So, this type of uh, spore sac, okay, spore cases, it produce flagellated zoospore that may settle down and develop into new diploid tally. So, this zoosporangia later will form diploid tally, okay, by itself. Meanwhile, the resting sporangia, 
Okay, it needs to undergo meiosis to form the haploid zoospore, and later this haploid zoospore will develop into haploid tele. Okay, that's all for citridomycin.